Hi folks, so we just want to jump right into um, our course material uh, for materials and um, sort of the first place to start it makes sense uh, so that we can continue talking about all the different types of of stuff that we're going to cover this semester in materials and that that is the vocabulary um, that we use to describe the properties of uh, the different materials. Uh, we're going to call these mechanical properties and we're going to see why you know, in, a, in, a, in a bit uh, as to why we have other properties. Um, back in our energy course, our physics course, we talked about the mechanics of throwing things across the room. We talked about forces and pushes and pulls and energy and things like that. And that's where this mechanical properties comes in. What we want to do is we want to look at the the mechanical properties of materials in, in such that you know what happens when you push and pull them um, as you all know I'm, I'm, I have lots and lots of materials inside this office as I, as I look around here um, I see um, I see my bookcase back there that's a material I see my, my clothes that's a material I see the the man you know the plastic that this um, this headphone is is, is using uh, and the microphone um, they're all materials and they all have different mechanical properties they all do things differently when you push and pull them so that's what all these mechanical properties are and all these mechanical properties happen to have um, a particular type of vocabulary word that comes along with it so that when we do start pushing and pulling on stuff which is what we do with a lot of things um, we're able to describe what we see so with that we're going to go through a, a little vocabulary list here of all the types of words that we're going to use throughout the semester and then uh, hopefully as, as, as we get these under our belt um, when we see new materials no matter what type of material it is if you recall from the introduction we're going to be studying three primary types of materials in the case of of metals and polymers and, and ceramics and glass uh, but in addition to that we need to use those vocabulary words that we start pulling and pushing on them and when they start pulling and pushing on each other uh, we can find out what they're doing and describe how they react so let me push a few buttons here and go over here to our um, our Prezi here so yeah here we are mechanical properties uh, push a button and um, we're just going to jump right into this uh, this list of things that, that happen to happen. So yeah, um, our first our first uh, vocabulary word when referring to the mechanical property of a material or a stuff is how strong is it. So obviously strength is the the vocabulary word we're after, uh, but there are different you know versions of the word strength. We can say something really is strong or how strongly is it holding things together. Um, you can see right away it simply means this is the the textbook definition of strength if you were to look it up on Wikipedia or an encyclopedia it literally is um, how does a material resist the application of load without failure so obviously failures are pretty pretty standard word just means when does the darn thing break um, load is also a very reserved word um, when we're talking about materials and it literally is you know how hard are we pushing or are we pulling on it uh, but specifically how hard are we pushing or pulling on the material itself so it, in, in engineering and in materials engineering uh, load is specifically talking about an applied force uh, we have forces all over the place uh, but this is how much force is actually interacting with our material and then of course uh, once the thing darn, darn thing starts failing um, we're talking about when it breaks. So I, I grabbed a, a bunch of images here of, of materials that have been forced until they have broken. Um, you can, this, this looks to be um, like a piece of aluminum, maybe an aluminum tube with a rivet. Maybe it's a, maybe it's a lawn chair of some kind. This looks to be a pipe that might have been a, a, a nail of some kind. It looks like it snapped. This is obviously a rope that is frayed. And then down here's some guy snapping a pencil and a half. So you can see the concept is pretty simple. It's a, lot, a lot of the things we're going to be talking about the entire semester are fairly straightforward and simple concepts. It's just that there's going to be a bunch of them, and we want to make sure that we understand them all in context. So in this case, the strength of the material is simply asking the question, how strong uh, was this aluminum rod? How strong was this nail? How strong was this rope? How strong was this pencil? Uh, meaning, um, you know, if, if it took a lot of force, if it took a lot of load for this thing to snap, then we'd say it was a strong uh, piece of material. If it didn't take much at all, we say it's not strong. So it's, a, again, a lot of these vocabulary words that we use are words that we use every day. We're just going to make sure that we have a specific um, meaning for them here in materials. So let's uh, 